already fulfilled, having reached a state of balance and harmony. Yet this week's timing urges us to remain vigilant. Let's explore how maintaining this equilibrium while preparing for the next cycle can open doors to lasting success and new opportunities. The current situation established this week is one of already fulfilled. In this insight, already fulfilled reflects a moment of balance and harmony where things seem to have reached a state of completion. The image of this week's insight is water above and fire below, symbolizing the natural opposing forces coming together, boiling water and creating a sense of perfect equilibrium. Yet in the state of perfection, the ancient sages caution against complacency, reminding us that even in harmony, there is always the potential for change. Balance can easily be disrupted and vigilance is the key to sustaining success. This week brings the opportunity to carefully nurture the current state of fulfillment, focusing on maintaining balance, being mindful of the natural cycles of waxing and waning, and staying grounded as we prepare for new growth. This week we are guided by two key aspects, our internal energy and resources, and our external environment and its influences upon us. Internally, we are symbolized by fire, an energy of warmth, light, and clarity. This fire represents our inner wisdom and intelligence, allowing us to illuminate our path with clarity and transformation. We can use this energy to ignite progress and light the way for ourselves and others, staying open to new insights while remaining steady in our actions. Our ability to embrace our inner warmth will be key to fostering growth. The attributes we should cultivate include brightness, clear communication, and being a source of illumination for those around us. Externally, we are influenced by water, a symbol of depth, reflection, and adaptability. This energy brings forth the importance of flexibility and mindfulness in dealing with our surroundings. As water flows and adapts to its surroundings, we too must adapt to the circumstances and environment that surrounds us this week, approaching situations with vigilance and care. The external world is moving with depth, and we must be reflective and responsive to maintain our course. However, the balance between water and fire also brings a word of caution. The ancient wisdom warns us not to become complacent or too relaxed in a state of perceived perfection. As things seem to be in order, there's always a risk of unforeseen challenges emerging. Stay alert, take proactive steps to maintain your progress and avoid taking too much on at once. For instance, imagine a startup reaching a critical milestone of success. While everything may seem to be in order, the company must remain vigilant, continuing to innovate and adapt to changing market trends rather than relying solely on its previous success. The founder, who once burned with passion to get the company off the ground, must reignite the fire within themselves to push through to the next phase of growth while avoiding overconfidence. The underlying influence this week represents not yet fulfilled. This insight reminds us that even when things seem completed, there is always room for growth. In this sense, not yet fulfilled encourages us to take the fulfillment we've achieved and look forward to the next step, preparing for the future while remaining mindful on the lessons learned. This hidden influence speaks to the cyclical nature of life. As one chapter ends, another begins. Therefore, while we enjoy the fulfillment of our current efforts, we should be conscious of the next cycle and start laying the groundwork for what comes next. Let's see how this relates to business and entrepreneurship and in our professional lives. In business and entrepreneurship, this insight teaches us that success should not be viewed as a final destination, but as a part of an ongoing journey. Achieving a milestone is cause for celebration, but it's crucial to stay grounded, avoid complacency, and continue pushing forward. Simple, consistent action rooted in integrity will bring more lasting benefit than grand grandiose but hollow gestures. For example, a business owner who has recently experienced rapid growth might be tempted to relax and enjoy the fruits of their labor. However, to ensure the long-lasting success of their company, they must stay committed to their vision, remain adaptable, and prepare for the next set of challenges that will inevitably arise. Let's see how this relates to personal and family life and in our relationships. 
In personal and family life, the same principle applies. Genuine integrity, truthfulness, and consistency are the foundations for harmony. If you find your relationships are in a good place this week, use this time to strengthen those bonds through small, meaningful gestures that show appreciation and love. An example could be a couple that has recently celebrated an important anniversary. Rather than resting on their history together, they should focus on continuing to nurture their relationship, find new ways to grow and and deepen their connection. As I conclude this week's oracular wisdom, I'd like to emphasize that already fulfilled reminds us to enjoy our achievements, but also to remain vigilant. Balance is a gift, but is fragile and must be carefully maintained through mindfulness, sincerity, and steady progress. Remember, fulfillment is not the end of the journey, but a transition to a new beginning, where we remain present and grateful for what we have achieved, while setting the stage for the opportunities yet to come. Thank you for joining me for this week's presentation of Oracular Wisdom, I Ching for the Modern World. If you are interested in learning more about my work or wish to schedule a personalized consultation for your business, career, or family life, please visit davidmarkquigley.com. I am grateful for the opportunity to share this wisdom with you. Thank you.